La Cueva, or The Cave, is a short animated movie offering a taste of first-time director Victor Mayorga's planned trilogy on the Aztecs. This little short film helped me make several important decisions regarding the feature film. The film follows Aztec families in the lead-up to and after the Spanish defeat of the Aztec Triple Alliance in 1521. Help with research was provided by late archaeologist Philippe Solis Oguin, the former director of the National Museum of Anthropology in New Mexico and an authority on Aztec culture. Inspiration came to the producer after he spent some time working with indigenous communities in Mexico. La Marca del Jaguar tells the story of an Aztec warrior preparing for battle. The trilogy is still in development, but La Cueva, a taste of what is set to come, has already been well received by the Autonomous National University of Mexico. This subject is very important for Mexican society. It's an opportunity to take a different approach. I believe that it will resonate with not only children but also adults as well as audience that are not used to seeing their ancestors as main characters. The project will change the perception of the indigenous. So why make this animated film about the Aztecs? Because they are central to the culture of Mexico. Although Mexico is and always has been very diverse, the Aztecs are the people that best represent Mexico, Mexicans, and the Mexican heritage. Research included visiting the indigenous communities and archaeological sites, studying original Aztec codex, and examining ancient Aztec martial arts to faithfully reproduce weaponry. Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs, is used for all spells and during all rituals featured in the film. I think that the most difficult part of this, the biggest challenge, is the voice work. It has to be accessible to today's Mexicans but it cannot sound like modern Mexican. We have to give it that special taste of the Aztec age. La Marca del Jaguar will encompass three films, encompassing a 15-year period. Mayorga hopes to start production in 2010. TITV Weekly.